we're back. And today's mission, which we have chose to accept, is to find this guy. The other day we did this guy, we came back down the river. Oh, uh, we're around to about right there in the river. And then road comes up, follows the river. River's right down there. We're going to go up this mountain. It's pretty much straight up. Layout, traverse, side shots, because we got to mark down to this road. And find a corner. Last one on this project. We have found this one, this one, this one, this one. Now we got to go find this one. And that's it. And I've traversed and side shots everything here to about this draw right here. This creek. And I've got from here to about here-ish. So we just got to do this little chunk in here. It's going to suck because this only shows one creek and it's a monster. And then there's a couple little guys in here. But that's what we're going to go do. i got to take a picture of this, and we're going to not bring any metal detector and just go find him with, what, 17, 16, oh my god, no, is it on? Oh, there it is. I thought it was on a different page. We've got a brass cap and two bearing trees. Copy, let's go find him. Okay, so today is just layout day. Got a point here It sees down to where we went and tied that pen on the river. I see a little chunk of brightness. Right there. That's my hole. Right there. I'm going to go in up there and try and see back down to this. I think I'm going to have to go down there because this is basically a cliff. All right, I think I better grab two water bottles for this climb. Copy. Dang, there's real no good way to get up here unless I go all the way down to the ridge. It's real brushy and crappy. I think I'm just going to try and go up this rock bluff maybe. Oh, man, I guess you can call me professional rock climber, too. All right, we're way up here, I think. Maybe that little sunny spot was what I was looking at, maybe. Let's go up there and try and see Orange Ribbon down. Down to that road. Dang, I knew this would be tough looking back, but I should have got a compass angle. Not exactly sure where I'm looking at the road down there, but I might have to set this pin or... Go find or this control and lay my way back. I need to find a paddle somewhere. I don't know where line is, but there's definite timber type change in here. So we need to find a paddle on our way to the pen. That would help a lot. I'm kind of just lost up here right now, so I think I'm gonna go find the pen and lay it down back. After I lay back, oh, what is it? North on that other line we're working on. Copy. The ground got real wet with that rain the other day. That means next week, or the week after, we are going to be finding so many mushrooms. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be an early start. I'm just trying to find my way through this stuff. Easiest way possible. Which is, well, there's zero choices. Definite timber type change right here, so. I haven't found a paddle or anything yet, but if there's going to be one, I'm guessing it'll be lost in this stuff out here. It's real brushy. But I haven't found one yet. No evidence of nothing. Hallelujah. We got one. We got one right here. Okay, we are online, folks. Oh, get off of me. Boy. Sweating like a dog. Okay, so from here, just crank up east and should find another paddle or the corner of that way. It's kind of nice. We're up on this little flat. I haven't had much elevation in 100 yards. Should maybe start looking for bearing trees or firs. That's a hemlock. There's a fur, they were like 18 inches and 82 or something. Uh, where was I from? Where that just was at the sign? I don't know. Okay, start checking trees. Look at that, we found him. There he is. And there's his blaze, and there's his tag popped off. We'll put him back up. And what? Oh, here's the other one, looks like he died. Pretty quick. 
So that means where? Oh, over there is the pin maybe. I see a post. I see two posts. I see the pin right there. We got him. Okay. Okay. This is a pretty, pretty nice little stand of trees in here. I like it in here, except for going west out of here is gonna be no fun. And we gotta go north for, oh, probably almost a quarter mile, maybe a thousand feet. So let's start doing that, I think, since we're up here. Hey, what's this? Somebody put a, a tag on this thing that's down. What are you doing? Oh yeah, boundary. Uh, you ain't standing up anymore, bud. Okay, I'm gonna whack all this stuff out, put a bunch of ribbon right here, and then head north. Okay, so from the pen, there's a paddle. We're heading north. That way. Hey, look at that, there's a paddle right there. We're just gonna be finding paddles this whole way. <laughs> Crappie. Here's this guy. Copy. We're just gonna have to snake our way through or crawl. It looks kind of thick. So I'm just laying out control points from the pen north that see each other, line of sight. I'm hoping to find a paddle again in here somewhere. Get me right on line, but they've been doing pretty good with them. A lot of times they'll go 300 feet between them and that makes it tough. But these guys have been doing about 120 feet like we do. Doesn't make it easy to find them, but easier. Oh, guess what? Got one. Let's go around this way because it's easier. Got one. I knew there was going to be one right here. Okay. From here, looking north. No. Dang it, hacking my way through here. Dang it. I got hung up. I'm losing all my ribbon. Come here. Okay, I can see orange there, the paddle's right there. I'm just blazing it through the woods. All right, we got through some very, pretty big stuff. I believe line from compasses and backs over here a little ways, so we'll correct back up and find another paddle on our next shot. I don't want to go that way. I think I'm just gonna go that way. Oh, thank goodness I was just blindly whacking off in this sea of green. I've got my last points up there a ways. I found one. I'm getting real hot and sweaty. It is a muggy, muggy day. And I'm kind of soaking wet because all the sal owl is still wet from the rain. And I'm getting wet. My jeans are binding up on me. But we got one, so we're back online. Okay. Still haven't got to that monster draw yet, and darn it. All right, sugar's getting low. Snack time. I need to sponsor Bumblebee Tuna. Oh, and I want to go tuna fishing. I am about as sweat and not be in a pool. Uh, all right, hydrate, snack pack, keep on trucking. Oh, that breeze feels nice. So I can see actually through this ribbon I just set up. I'm gonna abandon that. And go all the way. You can see some orange ribbon way down there in the shadows. So I'm gonna shoot all the way to here. And then hopefully a little whack and here's that here's a draw. I don't think it's the big draw, but it's one of them. If I whack some of those vineys, I think I can shoot all the way across this sucker. Sweet. Hey, there's our spot. I was just delving off down into this draw, and I was like, gosh, should have run in. The Skinner guy, whoever it was in the 80s really good about paddles and I couldn't find one but I found one okay right by the big one right by the big tree hey what's going on here I have a tree tag on this here's a paddle right here what's this sand maybe it's just for line okay what do we got bearing north corner is the Manhattan distance, 450 feet from here. We got 450 feet to go. 
and we are on line-ish. That yonder, copy. Okay, now we've made it to the monster draw, and I have traversed to somewhere on the other side of this thing, but it's a gnarly one. I haven't found a way to get through it, really, without crawling. Uh, I'd sure like to be able to see a piece of ribbon over there or find... I would think here, right on this ridge, I'd find a paddle. Because I hiked across that other draw away from the paddle. And I got offline a little bit. Maybe it's below me. I'm going to find this paddle before I... And hopefully find that... I'd like to not have to go over there, because I've already got control over there. And the gun and the legs, not the gun, and uh, foresight. But if I could pick a spot here that sees over there, then I'd be laid out and I could head back. Or else I'm gonna have to go across there and tie it all together. But I don't know. Let's search on this ridge here and try and find the paddle and then know exactly where we wanna be. I found something. Let's see what it'll tell us. Oh, the west quarter is something north. This must be close to line. I'm going to use this evidence as close to line. Somewhere down there and up the other side was that last paddle near the big tree with the other sign in it, which is probably that big tree right there. Okay, so from here... I'm gonna go across. So that means I can have a better spot to compass and look for my ribbon on the other side of the draw. So let's go back around there or through here and see if we can't spot some. Holy smokes! Kind of scared me. I thought it was a bear jumping out of the tree. Just a limb falling. Headache. Oh, thank goodness. I can see a little speck of pink over there. I think line is right about looking back at that thing. I think line is about right here. That's got to be my last control point from the other side coming south. Yep. Thank goodness we don't got to go through this because I still got to go back the way we came and then lay out that brushy stuff hacking all the way down to the road. So we're going to be worn out. I'm already kind of worn out. Oh, that low blood sugar took it out of me. When you go low, it just, you just feel like crud the rest of the day. Luckily, there's huckleberries right there in the bush. And there's salal berries right here in the bush. So, you never low for long. Nom, 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 nom. Mm, I like sal salal berries. They're kind of tasty. Okay. So, I kind of don't have control laid out to that last point. So I was trying to see where I was. So I'm going to lay out back and then back to the pen, which I already have laid out. And then start heading down to the truck. All right, we made it back to the brass cap. Now we're heading west out of here. Uh, that way. I've worn all the skin off my thumb. It's fine. And I drank all my water. So, good thing we're heading back to the truck. We're about 200 yards from the truck, copy. All right. I got a point right over there. There's a post and my last shot coming up the hill this morning. I just got to whack between these two, but I don't think I'm going to do it today because I'm worn out. I think I'm just going to try and get home. Now everything's, everything but this little 70 foot stretch is laid out. Come traverse it, then mark this whole dang mile. Ugh. Copy. Oh, I love that breeze. And I can see the road down there. Oh man, I wore myself out on this slope today. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Where do we want to go down and not just fall? This is steeper than steep, man. Probably not the right spot. At least there's a lot of brush to hang on to. Better put you down. Ah, another one in the books. Glad you got to see me.